Hi, I'm Viv Gallinari, a technical artist on the art team at Meta. Today we're going to explore Metaspatial SDK, a new way to build immersive apps for Meta Horizon OS. Metaspatial SDK lets you combine the rich ecosystem of Android development and the unique capabilities of MetaQuest via accessible APIs. With the Metaspatial SDK, you can take your existing Android apps to the next level by extending them into virtual and mixed reality environments. You can also develop completely new spatial experiences for your users. We will also talk about Metaspatial Editor, a spatial composition tool for the Spatial SDK. You can use it to import, organize, and transform your assets into visual compositions. This can then be exported into your spatial SDK projects. In this session, you will learn how to use components to make interactive objects for your spatial SDK project. We will cover setting up your project in Android Studio, editing your composition in the Metaspatial Editor, adding and positioning objects, assigning components to those objects, and then previewing your project into a headset. After that, we will explore how to create custom components for the Spatial SDK, allowing you to add unique interactivity to your projects. To save time, we have already set up a basic project that has a Spatial Editor composition set up and has the custom components scripts that we will use later on. So download the project and follow along. Before we begin, we need to ensure we have the necessary tools installed. So if you don't have them, download Metaspatial Editor and the latest version of Android Studio and install them both. Next, we need to download the starter project and open it in Android Studio. OK, so now we're going to open up the Metaspatial Editor and import our assets. In Android Studio, locate the main.metaspatial file, select Open it, and then Finder. Double-click in the file to open it using Spatial Editor. OK, so this is our Metaspatial Editor project. Double-click on the composition in the Composition panel to open the scene. You can see we have already set up a base environment by default. Now we wanted to import some objects into the scene, so drag and drop the robot and basketball models from the Assets panel into the viewport. You can use the Transform Gizmo to move, rotate, scale them as needed in the scene. Now we wanted to add some interactivity to our project. We wanted to be able to pick up and move those objects with our controllers on the device. We're going to do this by using the grabbable component. Select each object and in the Properties panel, add the grabbable component to each of them. Components give specific functionalities to scene objects. They can enable all sorts of behaviors like altering the visibility or adding physics properties. Once we're done, save the project by clicking File and Save. OK, so now that we have added our assets and made them interactive by adding the grabbable component, we can run our app in the headsets to test it out. Switch back to Android Studio and click the Run App icon to build the project and run it into our MetaQuest. If your MetaQuest isn't showing in the Devices drop-down menu, make sure it's on the developer mode and that it's connected using the correct USB data cable. OK, so we can now see an environment with our robot and bow in it, and we can grab and move them both using the trigger button on the controllers. The grabbable component is just one of the components that comes with Metaspatial SDK, but you can also create your own custom component. Metaspatial SDK components leverage an entity component system design pattern. That means that each node in your scene has an entity connected with it, and we can add multiple components to each entity. Components are created using two scripts, the component and the system. The component scripts defines a list of attributes for each component. For instance, in the physics components, each physics object can be given different mass or friction attributes, 
which will dictate how the object acts in a physical system. Components assign data to an entity, but they don't provide functionality. To add functionality, we needed to connect systems to our entities. The system loops through all of the entities with a given component and updates each of them in order. You can learn more on our documentation page on Entity Components and System. In this example, we have a look at component and system. This will be used to rotate one entity to point it at another. In the look at component, we define its attributes so user can set things like target entity and speed of rotation. In the look at system, in the execute function, each frame we run a query to find every entity that has both the look at and transform component. We need to ensure our entity has a transform component so we can update its rotation to point at a target. We then get the look at and transform components from each entity and use their data to calculate the desired rotation for each one. Finally, we update the transform component on the entity with the new post data. Okay, so that's briefly how components and systems work. Now we have three to-do items to complete to set up our custom components. First, we needed to register our components in the activity. In the custom component sample activity.kt file, in the onCreate function, we needed to do two things. Register the component in the component manager and register the system in the system manager. We can now add the look at component to our robot so it's always looking at the ball. We also load our spatial editor composition using the load glxf function. Once the composition has loaded, the invoke on completion lambda expression gets code. This is where we can now access our entities. We create variables for the robot and basketball using the getNodeByName function on the composition. We can then use the setComponent function on the robot entity to add the lookout component and set the basketball as the target entity. In this case, we also need an offset to ensure it's pointing the right way. OK, so now that we have registered our custom lookout and component and system and added to our robot, let's test it on device. On Android Studio, click the Run App icon to build the project and run it on our MetaQuest. So now, when we grab and move the ball, the robot rotates to look at it. We can also use custom components in the Spatial Editor. Next, we will use our look at component on a panel to have it always pointing at the user. Switch back to the spatial editor again and select the panel in the scene. In the properties panel, select the plus icon under components and search for our new look at component. This time, rather than selecting the target, we will set the look at head attribute to true to indicate that the panel will always look at the user. Save the project and return to Android Studio to run the project again on your Quest. Now, see that when I navigate the scene, the panel continues to face in my direction. Thanks for spending time with us learning how you can use your components to add interactivity into your metaspatial apps. To start building today, visit our documentation to explore the various SDK components and to start experimenting with features with our samples. Discover how to incorporate physics and animation into your projects. And check out our open source apps for a glimpse of what a more comprehensive project can look like.